New life-saving equipment is coming to fire departments in Sanford. The state's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, said that today. He said there will be checks that will come to help pay for the cost of this new facility. And as Channel 9 Seminole County reporter Jeff Love Coolidge reports, the new equipment will help keep firefighters safe from infectious diseases like COVID-19. Firefighters from Sanford spent hours battling this blaze that tore through an entire city block last night. After the smoke cleared and firefighters returned to the station, their clothes must be decontaminated in what's called a bunker gear extractor. For Sanford's three fire stations, they only have one extractor. What happens is when we get a structure fire, all the crews come down here to wash their gear, takes them out of pocket. But soon all three stations will be equipped thanks to state funding for the Cancer Decontamination Grant Program. Florida's Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas presented the Sanford Fire Department with a $3,700 check Tuesday morning. This is an old washer, but the new washers will not only protect firefighters and paramedics from things like carcinogens when they go to fight those blazes, but it will also protect against infectious diseases like COVID-19. We want to make sure that these men and women have long lives and just as we've spoken to, get to see their grandkids grow up. This profession has a, a high rate of cancer. It has a high rate of, of suicide with PTSD. For firefighter Jazz Zombo, who has battled cancer, getting the money to buy the equipment is emotional. Ten years ago when we when I would mention cancer in the fire service or talked about how the cancers that I was diagnosed with were related to the occupation, people would look at me like I had ten heads. And now to see that transition where they're listening, they're helping us, they're getting us the equipment we need, it's it's um, it's just an amazing um, emotional uh, just it's overwhelming. In Sanford, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. That is awesome.